Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do a really fun pour, something I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to do another um, explosive Dutch pour. Um, I've got loads of Flood Fluoritrol mixed Dutch pour paints, um, which I'm phasing out. I've stopped buying Flood Fluoritrol, um, but I've just got lots of little bits to use up. So to use them up, I'm going to do an explosive Dutch pour, but then I'm going to embellish it with um, a flower mandala design. Um, I did one really recently um, and I had gold leaf in the center and gold leaf around the petals of the flowers. And I love it really really happy with it so i'm going to do that again over the top of the explosive dutch pour so can't wait to do the pouring but equally i can't wait to do the embellishing and the hand painting because i love both parts of, of this process um so let me show you the colors i've got so as i said this is going to be an explosive dutch pour which means i'm going to just randomly pour the paint on in lines all the way around and then blow it out with the hairdryer. Now I've marked the center of my canvas and originally I've drawn a circle because I was thinking about putting the paint just outside the circle, but actually what I'm gonna do is put the paint everywhere and then I will be embellishing it. I'm gonna do a gold leaf center when this is dry. So I've got the center so I know roughly where to go from. And if you can imagine, I want a slightly lighter colors around here and then maybe getting darker and then maybe getting darker still. So I've got some lots of leftover colours. Um, if I show you, I've got a couple of pinky colours. And then, oh, I'm going to drop them all. I've got a couple of purples. Um, I think that's a mauve. That's a, that's a really deep purple. Um, some bronze, some copper, some carmine, some bright red. Um, and then some really pale blue. So some quite similar colours here, but interspersed with some of the pink, I think that will lift it. So I, I think it will end up reasonably dark, but I'm hoping I've got enough of these of these lighter colours. Oh, and I've also got um, some different red here and some gold as well. So just they're just leftovers, so they're not full. Some of these containers have only got a small amount in, but as a bit of a rule, I'm going to go for lighter and then out to darker. Right, so I'm going to drizzle some paint on. I think towards the middle, I'm just going to use my stir stick to drizzle the paint on because I need, I, I don't want to, to spill it out. I don't want it into any massive um, sort of lumps of paint, um, clumps of paint. So I'm just putting some of these lighter colours down. And there's not much of this purple at all but I just want to use the colours up. I don't want to waste any of this. If there's a little bit left, I think it's worth just putting it down. Let's go for a little bit of this red because this is the lighter red. And I'll just extend that out a little bit more. a gap still but I think that might be enough maybe not in the corners let's just let's just make sure there's enough paint in these corners so that when I blow it out it will be able to reach okay Right, my instincts is telling me that is enough. Let's just dab the very centre. So for the explosive Dutch pour, I'm going to simply blow with my hairdryer from the centre out in every direction. So let's just see what we get. Right, 
right so far I'm really happy with it I've got the dark at the edges I've got the light in the middle now unfortunately there's a few bits in my paint and that's the risk you take when you're right at the end of paint bottles I really really like this these colors I think are going to work so well for what I want to do this is absolutely gorgeous I absolutely love these colors love the bits of blue in it you've got some hints of the purple pale pink and then at the edges these colors are stunning this old mauve with the metallic colors really really pretty um now there is a problem and that is that one i it must have just been one of them was particularly lumpy because i've got little lumps everywhere in this which is such a shame um but let me show you um the close-up um yeah just such contrasting colors next to each other but i just love how they blend um so the lumps are a problem but i've tried to get a few of them out but it's sort of ruining the design of the painting if I do it too much. Um, the good thing is that I'm going to be embellishing this. I'm going to be sticking the, the um, a gold leaf on. I'm going to be doing things. So if this was a painting just on its own like this, I would be gutted right now because of the lumps. Um, but it's not going to be. It's going to be embellished. So um, hopefully that will disguise it or um, draw your eye away from the little lumps. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. So I just want to show you quickly the dry result before I start drawing on it and embellishing it. Um, it has dried so much better than I thought. As I said earlier, um, there were lots of little lumps and bumps, I thought, in the paint. And there are, but actually they've dried much flatter than I thought. I love this result. And even as a painting like this, I, would, I think I'd be quite happy with it because you've just got so much variation in the colours. Um, I love the little bits of blue that pop through. Um, let me show you in the light because it really, the, the gold re and the bronze and the copper really does shine beautifully. So really, really happy with it. And it is beautifully smooth, really, really nice. Um, so really happy. Um, but as I said, it's going to be a flower. It's going to be a mandala. So what I will do next is just draw on a circle. I'm going to cut out some petal shapes, different sizes. I will draw those on and then I will start painting on them. And I think I'll probably get my gold leaf out, start outlining them with gold leaf.
So it's now finished. I am so happy how this has turned out. I love the 3D effect, really happy with it. Really happy with the dark edges. It's darker at the edge, lighter in the middle. Exactly what I wanted. So when I time-lapsed it, what you would have seen me doing was using, I used, first of all, a gold Posca pen to go around the edge of every petal. Then I've used a black Posca pen to go around the edge of um, every petal. And then I just used some black paint to create some shading. And what I found was if I applied the black paint and then wiped it away with a damp cloth, it leaves this almost sort of speckled effect, which I just think looks more realistic as shading. It just looks, it's less defined. It's just more, it's just more shadowy. Um, so really pleased that I worked that out just by trying to clean the canvas. I realised it, it just softened the edges of the shading a little bit. So really happy with that. Um, I've added a few white lines just to help just to define the edge of the gold around the leaves. Um, my centre, it almost looks like the sun, beautiful, beautiful gold leaf. Um, and then I put the gold leaf around every single petal. But then when I brushed it off, I brushed it off quite hard with a quite a hard brush because I didn't want it everywhere. I wanted kind of as little as possible because look, can you see now it's not defining every single petal but it's just there's just bits of shimmer and sparkle all over it so i just think when it comes when it, you look at it in the light like this just love it just comes to life um so i have absolutely loved doing this i love point paint pouring but i also love embellishing and i love hand painting as well um, so I definitely will do something like this again. I've really enjoyed it. If you've got any ideas um, or where I could go with this next, let me know. Just, I love the idea of a mandala, of a repeated pattern with the, the sort of the chaos of the fluid art underneath. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please leave me any comments you have. Um, please do hit the thumbs up button if you like it. Great, take care everyone. Bye.